Okay. Uh, right, alchemy. I dare you to say alchemy. Alchemy. Right. Okay, let's have a look at how I did that. Okay, so... I'm in... Off, off, MIDI, pl MIDI plugin, insert bar, button, MIDI plugin, group, MIDI plugin, input, group. All these are LFOs and things that I've assigned to make it do what I want it to do. Okay, so we're going to turn MIDI plugin, MIDI plugin, all insert, these MIDI plugin, off. group, MIDI plugin, off, EQ, button, MIDI plugin, button, MIDI plugin, group, in, bypass, ticked, oh, checkbox, untick, bypass, checkbox. So that's now static, yeah? Out of MIDI plugin, insert bar, but MIDI plugin, group. In bypass, ticked, and tick bypass, checkbox. So now we've got no vibrato. Either, Out of MIDI, MIDI input, group. In input. <clears throat> okay, open button. so now. Link, view, me menu, tick, editor. So I'm going into the editor. View, menu button, editor, ticked. Instead of the controls view, so. V redo, dent, button, classic electric, doing. close, button. <clears throat> then navigate the close button again. Uh, the very left. Go to to the right. Classic toolbar, button. Press that. Press toolbar, so button. that everything is contracted. There's nothing else on there. I'm going to scan the screen. Finished. And we're finished. With any luck. Classic electric piano. Browse simple advanced A to say alchemy file save save as quality great vol. That's fine. Because what that's showing us is that we have our preset that I made here, which is just called dare you to say alchemy. So we, tab we do... Uh, I'm not going to bother speaking the VO... CR commands, if that's okay, because I think people are familiar with those. Simple. Advanced. Dare you to say alchemy. That's the name of the patch. File. So we want file. So we do VO shift space on that. Menu. Save consolidated. Initialize preset. And just click on that. Press initialize so preset. We're left with Close this button. Basic soul sample. Like so. And then we go to scan the screen again. Finished. Classic electric piano, browse simple advanced default file save, save as quality great vol. Global sources, sources. I saw B saw, saw. So we want the first saw wave. Menu. We do that. Import audio. Import audio. Press import audio. Close button. Now this browser is in sort of columns and rows. So basically the way it Finished. works is, sorry, voiceover sort of talking over each other. Classic electric piano, default, library, application support, logic, alchemy samples, queue. Okay, right, so. Places parent folder. So place is on the left, then parent, fold on the right. Alchemy samples arpeggiated. Alchemy samples arpeggiated. Now those two things are not in the least bit connected. And I'll show you how that works a bit further down. So EXS factory samples bass. Sampler instruments brass. Documents drums. Yeah, it's just a mishmash of all the folders in the uh, computer. So desktop guitars. We want desktop. Desktop. Because <clears throat> that's where my audio files are saved. So I'm going to do VO shift and double space this time. Because we're going a layer deeper into the folder, so... Finished. Classic electric piano. Use place alchemy samples audio. EXS factory samples projects. Sampler instruments tables. Tables. Tables is the one we want. T. And just to be on the safe side, I'm going to just did uh, control command shift and right arrow to the first letter of the word table. DVO shift double space again. And... Finished. Classic electric users, Jamis places parent folder. Classic electric users. Alchemy samples, alchemy spoken table, EXS factory samples, fake Latin wav. Sampler instruments, site table, additive wave. Documents, let's see how this turns out. Desktop, look closely, wave table wav. Documents, let's see I'll how this turns what. out. Spoken table wav. I will do it with the file that I'd used last week. Let's see how this turns out. Spoken table wav. L. But before we do that, I need to go down to the bottom of the screen. Desktop look close music test table drives the only thing that matters. Like favorite down. music. Zero drop zone. Analysis mode mapping zero files. Until I hear that. So analysis mode. Analysis mode. Is what it's showing you on the left. But if you go directly down. Additive spectral add plus spec granular sample pitch preview cancel import. That's everything, right? So Formant. Oh and formant at the very bottom. Additive okay. spectral add spectral add plus spec granular. So we're in one word there, but that's several different things being highlighted. So we're going to go S P E C T R A L space A D D plus S plus D D A space A add plus spec. So we're going to click on that. Just VO single VO shift single space like that. Rescan. Finished. Classic. You play alchemy samples. Alchemy spoken table. Wav. E. Sampler instruments. Site table. Additive. A. Documents. Let's see how. The, let's see how this. L. Now let's see how this turns out. It'll play when I double when I vo shift single space on it. 
So, let's see. So, let's see how this turns out. Okay. So, there we are. So what you do to do that before he's, before he, uh... So, let's see how this turns out. And that's pretty horrible, isn't it? So, let's see how this turns out. So, let's see how this turns out. Okay. We are going to fix it. Untitled tracks. I've just closed uh, Alchemy down because what I don't want to happen is for it to not allow me to do percentages because audio one partially hidden channel str that will classic so, so. <laughs> so In classic that'll take piano. a long time to Setting. do it that way so so let's see how this turns out <clears throat> I'm gonna type exit VOCR navigation and we don't need that on anymore for a start <laughs> I'm gonna type into item chooser Logic Pro 10 busy. This is the real troublesome part about our Item choose a menu 1,832 items. Okay, You're only only nearly 2,000 items to play with, right? So, let's see how this turns out. So what's wrong with that? So, let's see how this turns out. Lots of clicks, lots of pops. So first of all, we are going to go to... We're going to type the word... P A R. Five hundred fourteen thirty nine four items. Additive and partials A. I type P A R T then. My bad, but that'll do. Because that's what we want. The number of partials in the file. Additive and partials A. So let's see how this turns out. The reverb. Logic Pro Ten busy. Reverb is extraneous because. Two hundred and fifty six. Uh, slider. It's on a bus. Logic Pro sixty eight point two. But in slider seventy. Just Ramp that up to 100%. So, let's see how this turns out. It's a little better. Now, we want to change... I mean, that's awful. So, what we're going to do... We're going to go to Formant. It's got a mode, this. Item choose a menu, 1,832 items. I just thought I'd wait for her to speak. Um, It's got a mode, this, called Formant Ana. And... What that is, it's a dedicated formant shifter, so it will allow you to remove all the formant tracking from the file. So we're going to do that now, and I happen to know that that's called K-Track. So if I do 212 by 12 item, 12 item, 4 items, formant on a K-Track A. There we go. That's the one we want. So now... Logic Pro 10 busy. Give it a moment. Formant on a K-Track A. Now I'm going to keep playing that. And then you'll see what happens when I reduce it. Slider, 100%. Slider, in slider. So, let's see how this turns out. Out of slider. So, let's see how this turns out. Formant on a K track B. So now we're going to go smooth. Logic Pro 10 busy. Formant on a smooth. 9, nine 18, eight, 18 items. Formant on a smooth A. Formant on a smooth A. So I just literally typed smooth into item chooser. Item chooser, as slow as this might seem, is your best friend in this synth because there is no other way of us getting around it at the moment. 50%. In 55%. So let's see how this turns out. 60%. So, let's see how this turns out. 70%. So, let's see how this turns 70%. out. 70%. 60%. So, let's see how this turns 55%. out. 55%. So, let's see how this turns out. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change Logic, we're busy. the mode that we're working in here with the additive synthesis. 8, 35 items, morphlin mode. There is um, two options. There is the option for virtual analog which we're going to switch to and then resynth which we're on at the moment so so let's see how this turns out a lot of that is because it's resynthesizing the sample i could lock the pitch out of all this now and make it a playable instrument and it does have its uses there are other things you can do with harmonics and stuff to tidy this up but what we're going to do mono msg midi mode or additive mode a additive mode a that's what we want so all these modes Logic, pretend, busy. a b and c they're all duplicable sources so they're, they're all basically mode a got four times possibility because you've got four separate sources logic pro 10 busy 
So we're going to do VA radio button one of two. We're going to switch that. Press VA and selected instantly, radio button one of two. Sorry about that. Instantly, it'll improve. So let's see how this turns out. So let's see how this turns out. Much better, right? So let's so let's see how this turns out. Now there's something else we can do to tidy that up even more. We're going to take the spectral module. Logic Pro 10 busy. Because we used add plus spec on going in before we imported our item choose a menu 1832 items and i believe it is 34 items spectral volume a no spectral spect spectral volume d no nope. spectral high cut a no nope. spect spect spectral high cut d no nope. spectral low cut a no nope. spect spectral low cut d spectral on a yeah that will do spectral on a ticked spectral on b spect spect spectral on c and spectral on d spectral on d and ticked spectral mode a spectral mode b spectral modes spect spectral ktrk a now this Spectral KTRK, A, ticked, checkbox. This might appear to be something that it isn't. Logic Pro 10 busy. To anyone who's not messed with it, this spectral key Spectral track. KTRK, A, ticked, checkbox. But actually, what's happening... So, less, so, 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 so. You're still losing quality at the low end. So, so. But because I'm about to turn Logic that Pro 10 off, busy. it's going to track the sibilance at the original pitch. Spectral KTRK, B. Spectral KTRK, spe Spectral KTRK, A. My bad. Spectral KTRK, and Spectral KTRK, A. Check that. So, let's see how this turns out. It's more contained. So, let's see how this turns out. So, let's see how this turns out. My bad. So, let's see how this So, let's see how so, so, so. Now, one couple more things we're going to do. We can, from Logic here, Britain, busy. pretty much do what we want with the sample. So, item choose a menu 1832 items. If we were to take the effects modules, 53 items, use ma the master, master effects, blind. master effect one on, master effect one on, and ticked checkbox. Logic Pro 10 busy. It's a shame, you know, that you can't highlight master sliders, effect one on, and ticked checkbox, that you can't highlight sliders and tick boxes in the item chooser. That would be such a tick master effect one on, checkbox. I'm going to use a modulation Logic effect. Pro 10 busy. So we've not got anything on there at the minute. Master effect one type. So let's see. So. None. Pop up button. Menu tech delay. Classic mod F distortion. Mod FX. Mod FX. This is going to make it really Logic Pro 10 busy. quite a lot meatier. So Small let's error. see how this turns out. So let's see how this so, turns out. So, so let's see how so, 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 this turns out. Now then, to avoid that horrible crunchiness at the end of that sample... So, well, let's see how this turns out. That. Because it's still playing the virtual analogue instrument that we're carrying uh, our wave file... Uh, our, yeah, our wave file through uh, in a loop. So what we're going to do, we're not going to use loop mode because you can't really be that constructive with Alchemy's loop mode. We can't change the loop points as far as I can make out. What we're going to do is we're going to change the speed of this file. We're going to lower that till it's off. Logic Pro 10 busy. Because when it's off, it becomes a single uh, frame in the wavetable. Or the equivalent of. Item choose a menu 1,848 so. items. Speed A. Speed A. Okay. Logic Pro 10 busy. So we'll just wait for it to ask itself out for a drink, and if it'll politely cooperate, we're in luck. Logic Pro 10 busy. So well, let's see how this turns out. 100.0 percent, 50 percent in slider. So you can see well, we're going to do this anyway, right? So well, let's see how this turns out. 65 percent. So well, let's see how this turns out. 80 percent. So well, let's see how this turns out. 100 percent. That's n that's nothing. Because what we can do is take let envelopes from the modulator and the modifier take over. So let's roll all this all the way down. See, that's continuous now, yeah? So when I was working this out, I theorized that because that's just a continuous loop, the beginning frame of the table... I thought, well, out of slider, zero percent. Let's see slider. what happens. Speed A. If I scan through the file the, with the position control, so position D. 
Position C. Position B. Position A. Position A. 0.0%. Slider. So we're going to go very slowly. Slider. In slider. 1%. 2%, 3%, 4%, 5%, 6%, 7%, 8%, 9%, 10%, 11%, 12%, 13%, 14%, 15%, 16%, 17%, 18%, 19%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 
One stroke 4D. Slide in slider. Let's change this. So let's see how this turns out. One three bars. So let's see how this turns out. So let's see how this turns out. So let's see how this turns out. 63 PM the release. One stroke eight. In slider. One one stroke six. So let's see how this turns out. Out of speed, 63.8 plus 3 bars. In sub 1, 1, 1 stroke 4. So let's see how this turns out. So we have no hold now. Out of okay, so. the release. One stroke in one stroke so sixteen. Let's see how this turns out. One 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 bar three bars. So let's see how this turns out. So let's see how this turns out. So let's see how this turns out. So let's see how this So let's see how this turns out. So so let's see how this turns out. So yeah, that's how I did the alchemy thing.